today I'm back with the video I've got a how to video <laughs> no what's good what's happening guys and it's Samo Neo graphic designer and illustrator from Birmingham in the UK and today I'm bringing to you a tutorial how to video on how I create my poly art um, this is different to the last couple of videos that I've posted up so if you do like this and you do want to see um, like similar kind of content coming from me then please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up leaving your comments below like let me know what you think or if you've got any tips and tricks that you'd um, want to add into like people that do come across this video then uh, please do and thank you guys for all the support so far it's been amazing and yeah gonna get into the video Alright guys, so as you saw from that little preview of the final piece there, um, I'm actually using an image of Lady Leisha, who is a musician from Birmingham. Um, and I know I said that I was going to be doing this tutorial in Illustrator and at the moment I'm currently in Photoshop, but here I'm just bumping up the colours and the contrast within the image um, by adjusting the levels the curves and the saturation uh, in Photoshop. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm actually planning to use this image for another project. So um, you can also see me here a bit later on um, adjusting and messing around with like the composition and adding a little extra things um, to the image. I'm also removing the like night tick that's on her vest just because um, I don't really want that to be in the artwork. All right guys, so um, we're finally in Adobe Illustrator and here I'm starting off the poly art by, you know, drawing little triangles. Um, I'm actually using the pen tool here. Obviously there's many ways to do this art. And um, as you can see here, I'm using the bare minimum. So I'm actually doing this on my laptop. I don't have a mouse. Well, I do have a mouse, but I'm not using my mouse um, to do this. So yeah, here we go. And also guys, I just want to outline that there's many forms of poly art. So the smaller you do your shapes, the more detail your image will kind of um, hold on to. Whereas, you know, if you want something that's less detailed, then you'd use larger shapes. So I'm trying to maintain as much detail as I can in this image. That's why I'm using smaller triangles. now it's time to work up the outlines that we do have and drop in the color so to do this I'm selecting my shapes that I've drawn and using the eye, eye dropper tool um, which selects the color um, from the photograph underneath um, well that's where I'm clicking to get my colors from so eventually all the triangles that I, I've drawn will become colors from the reference of the image that's why Initially, I started doing all that Photoshop work, so I had some nice colours to be using. Thank you. 
whole process is very repetitive that's why i'm kind of speeding through the video so you know once you see me draw a few polygons and once you see me kind of select the outline and use the eyedropper tool to drop the colors in it's literally just doing this over and over and over and over again until you've completed the image so yeah <laughs> it's a bit tedious but you know for something like this you do need to have patience approaching the end of the video um, I've almost colored in all of my polygons you know I'm dropping in the color and it's all finally starting to come together <laughs> enjoyed the video um, let me know what you guys think hopefully this video has been informative and um, you know you've learned a thing or two um, if you do have any questions then please do feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video